everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to Sev Tech Ages. It's a new day. Yes, it is. It is a new day. Now, why do I say that? Because the past couple of episodes have been pretty, pretty messed up, I must say. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you a quick little recap of what happened. Uh, two episodes ago, or actually three episodes ago at this point, I made an edit where I started coughing in the video and I said, ha ha, I cut that out. Yeah, I didn't cut that out. Totally forgot to cut it out. And then the episode right after it, I had put, let me see if I can describe how I do this. So when I film a video clip, boop, I put it into my video editor. Then I have, let's see, do we have another, okay, I have some basalt. We can do that. So this would be the other clip. So I... I stretch this out till I get to the end of where the clip ends, and then, boop, I put the next video clip in. So I've edited it together, and that's how you get scene transitions. Well, for some silly reason, when I was um, placing this video clip in, I stretched it out, and I didn't pay attention to the, the software telling me that's the end of the clip. So I kept stretching it, and then I saw that's the end of the video clip. And I went ahead and clipped it right there. And then I added, oh, nope, you come here. Boop, the next clip. <laughs> yeah. So that episode has the same clip playing twice in a row. And let's see here. Who pointed that out? Rob Brown and Zach said, hey, buddy, you doubled your clip in episode 69. So, yeah. I, that, the only thing I can think of is in the past couple of weeks, there have been some real life stuff going on that just has got me like very distracted and very tired. Not distracted in a bad sense in real life, just distracted from paying attention to YouTube stuff. So I kind of took it easy last week and just took a little bit of a break. That's why you only saw two episodes come out. But episode 70 has come out and hopefully everyone enjoyed that. And we are here. We are here at this site now that I've done this. So what I've done off camera is I have looked around for a few of these uh, ore deposits or else. Um, I don't know why I said that. That didn't even make sense, Piggy. You got to you gotta like bridge the joke for it to. Yeah. Sometimes I just say the random things that pop in my head. <laughs> but I've got all these different ore samples that you can see I have found in different areas around here. And so I visited a couple of them, and I wanted to see how big the ore deposits were. And let's see here. Do I have them? No, nope. I've got it in. I've got it in my gold backpack. I've got these two. I found a copper, and I think an iron deposit that I had previously worked with. Yeah. So here's I cleared out a copper. Uh, uh, vein and this is how much that's after I already picked at it making other stuff with copper this is what was left and then iron I cleared out the rest of the iron so let me see it's nope uh, yep I was gonna say it's distance specific but I got to remember okay and an empty hand there we go so let's go ahead and do this and we'll put these right here for safekeeping. So I've been slowly going through and trying to gather up different ores that we're going to need. Because now that we've got all of these different uh, age of engineering stuff that we're going to have to be doing and other things, there's a lot of metals we're going to need. I started doing some, uh, some. Uh, let's see, can I do this without without dying? If I use the gloves to climb. Oh wait, I've got slime boots. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time off camera this week doing stuff on decidedly vanilla. So I'm thinking vanilla minded when we're in modded minded. Yeah. But I did a whole bunch of research off camera for the different uh, advancements. I'll show you different advancements we got going on in age three. And I mostly did research for this grouping up here. But I started noticing a lot of this stuff is going to need different kind of metals and stuff. Which is all down here. Now, this ore prospector, if I'm not mistaken, let's let's double check that and to get some sharpening kits going because I have been wearing out that pickaxe. An ore pros prospector? There we go. Oh, wait, I don't need... Okay, okay, so I'm going to need redstone dust. And I can't remember, did we find redstone dust in Twilight Forest in the gas towers? I think we did. So I could have probably gone ahead and made the prospector. But I had found that cinnabar deposit, and looky here. We've got cinnabar. 
<laughs> which makes me think of like a, a cinnamon flavored candy for some reason. <laughs> But I figured I, I got my way down here to this ore deposit and got myself safe. And I wanted to go ahead. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, let's go over here. Oh, man, that was a little scary. Oh, more? Uh-oh, more? Oh, let's let's stop because I'm going to... I'm either going to fall in lava or we're going to lose a lot of that stuff. So probably what I need to do is either get some gravel and throw it down there to fill that in. Or we might be able to make... Let me check. Is there a way to transport fluids? Now, I know we had looked at using the porcelain tanks. Are there regular tanks? Let's back this up and check. Tanks. What are these? Large... Wait. Increases internal tank size of a mining drill and a chemical... Th Ooh, what's this? For a, a motorboat? We can build a motorboat? Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. I could fill up a porcelain tank, break it, and carry it with me. So what we might have to do is bring that porcelain tank down here, since we're not using it for anything anymore. And we could scoop this out with buckets, fill it up, and then take it to the surface. I can't even remember what viewer gave me that idea quite a few episodes back. But it was an awesome idea, so we're probably going to stick with that. But let's see here. Why did I not get that Cinnabar ad advancement, or this? Oh, this is blocking it. But we do have redstone dust now, so let's go ahead and go back to the surface. And we'll make this prospector. And then that should let us start unlocking those uh, those advancements. Now, with some of the immersive engineering stuff, I think having copper and iron is going to be enough for now. What are you? I didn't see you. Hematite. I think that's iron. There's a fair amount of iron deposits around here. But the insane amount of iron that I've just dug up, yeah, we might be set for a while. <laughs> just saying, you know. So let's see here. Where would be a good place? We need to go ahead and place these two crates down over here. There we go. We'll just we'll do that and that. That's going to be our ores that are ready to go right there. And son, you're going down, but we are safe inside the compound, which is awesome. So let's see here. To make the prospector... Prospector. So we've already made the dowsing rods. Oh, Prospectors is the name of the mod. That's why those are coming up. Okay. An ore prospector. So two pieces of lapis, a block of glass, and redstone dust. So I've got the redstone dust. Let's see if we can figure out... Did, did I put any glass? Oh, I did. Nice. Come with me. Thank you. And no blocks of lapis there. But I think there's some lapis over in this general area. So let's see if we can get this to show up. Um, lapis. And then letter Y. Okay, so there's nothing in that general vicinity. So let's do right here, letter Y. Nothing here. Here. Let's, let's get a little bit closer to all this stuff, just in case. Letter Y. Why? Because I like you. Look, it's right there, game. It's right there. Why are you being like this? <laughs> so let's go ahead and... A lapis carrot? What? Change a horse variant color. What? So I can make a lapis carrot and give it to a horse and the horse will change the way it looks? Is that what it's saying? Okay. Okay. <laughs> prospector we're gonna have to try that i want to see what that does so let's go ahead and make this and that should yep awesome that unlocked two different advancements right there so we've got the ore prospector and the cinnabar ore what are you loud noise is driving you crazy place down a super sound muffler and configure it to mute the sounds you don't want to hear anymore oh oh that could be cool because i tell you what drives me crazy running through here and hearing this fire we could mute the fire sound. We didn't start the fire, but we found a machine that would mute it just the same. <laughs> so we didn't go insane. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's see here. Let's run over here. We haven't been over here in a while. Let's run over here to the, um, the farm. What in the, what in the world was all, did you hear all that noise all at once? Ha <laughs> ha. 
Mick and Mock over there making a noise and a half. Okay, so let's see here. It, oh, wait. Okay, I didn't grab enough. There we go. So it's that. Oh, I had a carrot in there. Did you see that? Change a horse variant color. Okay, we got to find ourselves a horse now. Of course. Where is there? You watch. There won't be any horses around now. Last I remember, we did have a bunch of horses over here, didn't we? Let's see. Let's slingshot our way to success. And that's ready to go. And whoop. Come here, horses. I'm going to feed you a blue carrot. Trust me, it's tasty. They, they I was told. <laughs> okay, so I fed it to... Maybe it's like a random change, though. It was pretty quick, though. You ate it fast, and you instantaneously just bleached you out, buddy. That's what happened. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's just two flowers. Okay. I'm like, uh, what new thing is this on the ground? Okay, so let's run back over here, and I think today what we're going to do is we're going to try and do some of these... Uh, these uh, uh, I keep wanting to say applied energistics. I don't even know why I want to say that. That's not the right word. This stuff, immersive engineering, that's what it is. So let's let's see here. What do we got that we want to try and build? Nope, the nether froze over. Um, a water wheel, vacuum. T let's do. Let's let's look at. Oh, seriously, I wish I could click on that and it would just take me to it. That would be an awesome. Um, feature water wheel which i'm not mistaken we already got water wheels but okay so steel ingot and water wheel segments okay to make steel we have to make some kind of a furnace thing i think don't we let's note that's an atlas there we go that's the book i want to see crude blast furnace simple steel this is what i was looking at so we have to make um, blast brick, blast brick. So how do we make blast brick? Water we, we <laughs> blast. What steel leaf play? Oh, blast protection. That's when that's coming up. What are you reinforced? Blast brick. Okay, blast brick. I would like the half slab option, please. Could we go with that? Could I do the half slab instead of this mess? <laughs> so uh, we got a ton of clay so the bricks are not going to be a problem nether bricks shouldn't be too bad because we can get nether rack and cook it down the blaze powder is what's going to be a little bit of an issue now we need th nine blocks per layer and three so that's 27 blocks 27 divided by three is nine so we need nine of these so I'm going to need nine blaze powder and so we need three blaze rods. That's what we need. And I've got all this stuff in my inventory, and I don't want to lose it, but I don't want to take the time to just dump all of it. Um, I guess as long as we stay away from, from lava, <laughs> we should be fine. Wait a minute. Wait a stinking minute. You know what I realized? The only way to get to the nether is a stinking portal hundreds of blocks away. I need to figure out a way to, like... Um, get myself over there easily like maybe some kind of a contained system that i can slingshot in safely and i know it will send me right over to that area so i might have to do that between episodes so let's see is there something else we can build that we don't need steel for this episode a windmill we don't have see we've got a water wheel going on we don't have a windmill so let's see how do we make a windmill wind is that right vertical windmill better with mods i think we've seen that before a windmill okay let's see this iron okay we got a ton of iron so we can do that and what do we need here oh yeah okay so we can do this we got this so let's uh let's just take a stack shall we and how much can we put in there almost a stack Shy 19. Sounds like a weird punk band name. <laughs> the Pigglesworth and the Shy 19. Um, actually, that would be more like... A, ooh, where'd you come from? 
That would be more like a uh, uh, a big band, like from the swing era. The Shy 19 would be like the 19 guy. Or ska band. We could do a ska band. Yeah, you'd have a bunch of people there, too. Um, let's see here. Where is the ingot cast? Because we're going to need to cast one iron ingot. That's a sharpening kit. Where's the ingot cast? All right. I didn't want to do it, but you made me do it. There we go. Right in front of me. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we'll place that there. And let's see. Wow, that stuff melted down fast. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get ourselves. Wait a minute. Do we only need one ingot for the windmill? I think it was. Yeah, right in the center. And then three, six, seven, eight blades. So let's see if we can math together. So eight times three is 24 and eight times four is 32. So I need 32 treated sticks and 24 treated planks, but I need a lot more treated planks because these convert uh, two planks equals two or four sticks. I can't remember. Let's just make a bunch of everything. <laughs> and I already had an iron ingot. Hello, piggy. Come on, pay attention, buddy. So let's see here. Um, I've got these. That might be enough. Here's some treated sticks. Okay, so let's let's see here. Maybe this will work. And I saw that telescope, and it reminded me about trying to figure out the uh, the constellations. Nobody really commented on the constellations, so I'm not quite certain how to figure out the constellations yet. You know what? There's no crafting bench over here. There's that engineer's thing. Now, I saw a bunch of crafting benches over here. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Yes, you come with me. Let's go ahead and do this because I love being able to craft stuff and leave it in the bench if I need to, like, go get something. Right in the middle of something, you don't want to, like, stop. Okay, so let's just do that, and let's see here. So a windmill blade, that's what we need? So that got us one. Hmm. You know what we also need over here? We need a little bit of uh, storage. Because I need to, um, oh, wow, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's what we need. Okay, I'm just going to, we've got plenty of iron going now. Why is that not working? I, I have to cast a bucket, don't I? Yes, I do. All right, let's go ahead and cast a bucket over here because we're going to need to work with creosote. And you have to have a bucket to get the creosote out. It's not there. There it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. Okay. You go there. And molten iron. Cast that bucket. I'm going to take a sip of coffee while I wait for that to cool off. Ah, tasty. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. So we got a bucket. Now, we'll run back over here. And we'll see what we can see. You see, now, I'm not quite certain what to what structure to build right here yet. I'm gonna have to look around and see if there's some new blocks to work with or something. Maybe we can do something with chisel that will give us some some really interesting options. Okay, so apparently, when this thing fills up with creosote, that's when it stops. So let's do this. We'll get ourselves some creosote and see. What's cool here is because this is a a crafting station. Oh, well, let's do that, shall we? Let's just start utilizing this the way we should. Oh, and let's assemble ourselves a windmill while we're at it. So I can take this out, leave those there. We can get ourselves some more creosote. That's awesome. I can just shift click it right in there. Look at that. Like, oh, and it went right over here. Speedy. Awesome. Okay, so let's see here. We need. I need seven more, so I need seven times four. I need 28 sticks. And I've got two. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need seven. Each takes four. Seven times four is 28. 28 minus two is 26. Okay. <laughs> No. Oh, 
There we go. So we're, we've got two more than we need, but that's fine. So we got the sticks. We need more treated planks. That's what it is. Okay, so swap you. There we go. Yep. And I didn't even do the math on how many of these treated planks we're going to need, but I get the feeling it's not going to hurt us to make an excess of treated planks. I get the feeling that treated planks is going to be something we're going to need a lot of in this mod. So let's see here. We need seven more, right? No, not Meef. Get over here. And that. Okay, so I need two more treated planks. And we're out of wood. Okay, so apparently we're going to need to uh, put wood over here as well. <laughs> Hopefully I've got some wood just sitting around here. Although by the time I find it, it might have been quicker to just go. Yikes, look at this mess. You'd think a pig lives around here. What a sty. Yeah, that I'm yeah, I'm referring to myself. <laughs> Most definitely I am. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take a stack, shall we? Did I Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll take more than we need. We got plenty of wood sitting there, and like I said, I get the feeling we're going to need a lot of uh, treated treated wood for this. I'm starting to think this might have been a bad idea. We're, the two things we need together, I've got on opposite ends of the, uh, the chateau build now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do one more grouping, and we're going to leave the bucket here and our planks here, and there we go. So let's grab this. Nope, wait. If this is in this inventory, will it let me access it for the recipe? Nice. Oh, I just thought of something. I, haven't, I don't know why I haven't done this before. As we assembled stuff, I could assemble, you know, we've been doing like with a double chest, assembling the items as we've got stuff that we want to build. But then I take it all out and I assemble it in a crafting station. If we've got this butt up against the crafting station with a chest, I could do this. And then we could do this. Whoop! Advancement get. <laughs> Can I use this to chop things? <laughs> nice. So if I right click it, will it just. Oh my gosh, it does. Wow, that thing's huge. Can I just break it? It's showing me progress for breaking it. So it's little in my hand, but it grows ginormous when we place it. So how do we use this windmill? Consult the manual. Let's run over here where it's a little bit safer because that's the only thing I don't like about that area right now is it's still a little exposed to the elements and mobs and stuff could come get us. So let's see here. Um, I still wish that there was a search feature like I could put a text in and it would just show me different, uh, different uh, results. What are we looking for? Windmill. Maybe simple machine? Conveyor belt, razor wire, assemblers, automatic workbench, overview and resources? Hmm. Construction. Lightning, diesel, thermal. Why am I not seeing the windmill? At least they could have put these in alphabetical order. That would have helped. Where did I see information about the windmill? Was it here? Windmill. Craft and connect a windmill to a kinetic dynamo to provide power from wind. A kinetic dynamo. It's dynamite. Let's see. Dynamo. Kinetic dynamo. Okay, three iron ingots and two redstone. We've got that. What is this? A copper coil block. Yikes. An iron ingot, LV wire coil. Okay, we're going down the rabbit hole now. <laughs> Stick and copper wire. Copper wire comes from a copper plate and engineer's wire cutters. Oh, we got two leftover treated sticks. We can use that. And an iron knife blade. Iron knife blade might be a piece from um, 
tinkers like assembling weapons or something. Let's see here. I'm coming over here for what? Treated sticks. That's what it was. I treated you well. And now it's time for you to repay the favor. It's time for you to help me make some pliers. Whoop. And well, we've we put iron in there. We need to melt down. Ooh. My nose got all stuffed up of a sudden. Um, we need to melt down some copper. Okay, so let's get that out of there. We, we're not going to need that. We need some kind of knife thing. Why guard? You know what? Let's let's filter. It's going to be so much quicker and easier. Where are you? Did I not make one? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's one of these components. There we go. It's something we weren't allowed to work with. It's a good thing I held on to all of that. Okay, so what do we need to make the cast? I bet it's gold, isn't it? Um, cast. A cast is made from molten gold. Okay, do we have... Nice. Okay, we do have some gold. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to lose this piece. It's going to get consumed, right? Is that going to be enough? Awesome. Okay, so we... I thought I poured something. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so we've got that, and I needed... Was it iron? Let's back up. Um... Not pliers. Uh, let's. Was it dynamo? Let's just do that and follow the the rabbit trail on dynamo. Wire cutters. That's what it was. I need. It, okay, it needs to be made out of iron, and then two sticks. So let's select iron. There you go. Oh, coffee opportunity. <laughs> oh no, I haven't drank yet. Not fair, not fair. Okay, so iron knife blade, and I think we can do that in this interface, right? That and that. Nice. Nope, no, uh, no achievement. <laughs> okay, so let's get that out of there. That can go back in here. And where in the world did the ingot cast go? Right there. Because from here we need to make. What was it? Copper plates. Um, no, let's 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 stay on the dynamo because we need to make sure that we've got all the different stuff. Copper wire from a copper plate from a copper ingot. Ooh, I've got an ingot cast, but we're gonna need a lot of copper. So let's back up and see how much we need. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these. Each of these consists of four wires. So that's thirty. No, wait. We need we need eight, but this recipe gives us four. So we need two of these recipes. So we need eight copper wire. Each copper wire comes from a copper plate, so we need eight copper plates. And nine ingots come out of a block. So we should have to just pour one block of copper, right? Molten bronze. Oh, no. Uh, did I just, did I just, um, what's it called? Those of y'all who know what I just did, you're probably smacking your head when I threw the copper in there. I made a, um, an alloy, molten bronze. Okay, let's see what bronze alloys from so we can get that metal out of there if there's any more left. I hope it's not gold. No. Oh, alloying. There we go. Copper and tin. So there must have been some tin in there. Is there any more? Right there. So let's get that tin. At, oh, no. We're almost out of fuel. So we're probably going to get that porcelain thingy. How much tin did it say? One block. So let's get you out of there. Get that tin out of there. I don't even know what we're going to do with the bronze now. <laughs> I guess we could pour it and get it out of there and save it for later for something. Although bronze might be something we could make a piece of uh, something to add to in the Tinker's... Um, what am I trying to say? You know how like this we've got wood and iron? Bronze might add a feature that we could actually use at a later date. So let's see here. I want to 
smelt the copper. That should not alloy now because there's nothing in there for it to alloy or to ally with. Like if it was going to, it's moving in. We've, we, they've, they've gained allies and they're trying to surround the compound. <laughs> Come on, you melt. Make that copper. There we go. Awesome. Now let's pour a block of copper. You stay right there. You, we're going to use you in just a second to get some more fuel here. Because we're out. We got 50 mega buckets left and that's about it. So hopefully we're not going to need to. You're taking a while. Hopefully we're not going to need to to do any more smelting if we Oh, that's a weird looking color. I would think copper would look more like that. This this is the color copper gets when it's sat out and in had a chemical reaction with the air and actually tarnished itself. I like the color though. That's an interesting look. So let's get our hammer. It's hammer time. There we go. Copyright mode is engaged. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just leave that there. Yeah. Nice decoration. <laughs> okay, so this is going to give us the wire. Awesome. Oh, that's got durability on it. That stinks. And we need just regular sticks, not treated sticks, right? So I think we're going to be good on that. We oh Wait, let's make sure we got it. We need an iron ingot. Let's be prepared, shall we? And I've got plenty of redstone. Okay, so the ingot cast is still there. Nope, there's nothing here. I was hoping maybe we had, we had one here. I'll just wait for it. There we go. Look at that. Prepped and ready. We were actually thinking ahead. Now, when I get this dynamo placed, I notice when I place the windmill that half of it was down in the ground. I wonder if we have to build up something to um, to let us like keep the windmill up in the air. So let's see here. It was it was just sticks we need, right? Why is that not giving us sticks? You stinker! We have to use the stinking um, uh, the 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 wood chopping thing over here, right? Hmm. I think so. Let's see if we just got like sticks laying about. Um, back it up, back it up. There we go. Why? Because I like you. There, there's sticks right there. Okay, sticks, get in there. We're facing the chest. Let's get away from the torch so we don't send ourselves. Whittled fire stick. That's what I did wrong. Why does a regular stick not show up? Because it's not plural. Okay. Hover over. Hit the letter Y. Oh, nope. Not sticky. <laughs> click away. Click away, young pig. And hover. Letter Y. Okay. I don't know what the, I don't know why that's not working, but we'll just go with it. Hmm. You just keep thinking, buddy. You see if you can figure it out for me. Maybe we'll make a library for you. And then you can you can entertain us with all of your your vast knowledge. So let's just back this up. Now, why is that way over there? Maybe it's being stretched because of this interface. Let's see. Yep, that's weird. Okay. Ooh, and it's like hidden now. Dinah. Nope. Let's back up. Obviously, I can't see the. We're typing. We're typing in. We don't know what's going on. Dynamo. That's what we need. It's dynamite. I've already used that joke. Get a different joke, Piggy. So there's four. Why did we only make four? What happened? Did I do my math wrong again? One of these. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I didn't click the thing to tell it to like double up. That's what it was. So what are we missing? We got to make that block first. Okay, so we can do that. Now let's make the dynamo. Why are you... What? Where do we use an ingot? Oh, wait a minute. Three. Four. Way to go, piggy. <laughs> 
Raise your hand if you screamed at Piggy. It's a new game. You get points every time you yell, but you'll have to tally the points yourself. I can't keep up with that. But what'll be fun is at the end of the entire series, maybe we can see who has... Come here, you. <laughs> we can see who has the most points. Who's yelled at Piggy the most? I know a few contenders who, who yell quite a bit that are uh, probably in the runnings. <laughs> okay, that, that, that. Whoop, nice. And no advancement. One of these days, we'll get an advancement. So let's do this. Let's just, <clears throat> just for experimentation purposes. I don't even know if this thing is directional, if that's important. Let's see here. Click that. And that way I can get this, because I have a feeling this is directionally important. And let's give ourselves a little bit of space. Back off, he said. Back off. And you. Cool. It does nothing. <laughs> well, there it goes. It just needed me to insult it. That's what it is. I like that. Now I have to come up with a windmill build. But I like that. That is really cool. So I'm going to assume that thing's probably making power of some kind, and we have to be able to get the power out of there. Are there any advancements for that yet? Nope. But we do have some of this stuff we have to figure out. Vacuum tubes. Yikes. If I'm not mistaken, that was actually quite a bit to get to get working. Um, I think we have most of the stuff for it, though, didn't we? Vacuum. Vacuum the floor, please. <clears throat> okay, so we know how to make copper wire. We've got redstone, and we've got clear glass. An engineer's blueprint. There's three... There's two pages of recipes. There's four recipes in total. Created items. Hold shift. Oh, that's right. There's all this different stuff that it makes. Um, which one makes the vac... Okay, this one makes a vacuum tube. So we need three pieces of paper, an iron ingot, a copper ingot, an aluminum ingot. I don't know if I have aluminum. What does it take to make aluminum? Oh, wait, maybe we do have aluminum. Let's go check. Like, once I saw that coloring of the way that the, the ingot and the block looked, my brain kind of went, uh, that looks familiar. No, that's tin. We got copper. And porcelain. A porcelain heater or porcelain melter? Okay, so I thought I had more of those porcelain things as well, but apparently I don't. Not smeltery controller. I was thinking maybe that would be something we could fill up with lava as well. Hmm. Okay. How do we make aluminum? Aluminium, as some would say. Um, casting. Comes from molten aluminum. Bauxite ore. Bauxite. <laughs> and if I'm not... Wait, 315 degrees. I hope this... I, I hope you get to 315. Okay. Let's see. Bauxite. Is that one of the advancements? I think so. Limonite. Platinum. Galena for silver and lead. Bauxite. There we go. So I'm going to have to find a, um, an ore deposit for that. When I get the feeling, I'm probably... What are you? Fight? Oh, flight? What? Use all the engine items. Craft a V1 vice craft airship. Open the GUI to see what you can upgrade and to customize the look of your ship. Are you kidding me? We can build flying machines now? Oh my gosh, yes. Hibachi? No, I don't want a hibachi grill. I want a flying machine. <laughs> we have to build an extending crafting table, which I'm not mistaken. We're going to have to build that, that, this. We got to build iron before we can build gold is what my guess is going to be back from uh, age two. Age two, we've looked at you forever. I'm almost sick of looking at you, I tell you. Advanced mapping. This is what we want, but that is what we want, but that is what we want. Man, that's going to be awesome. We can get flying stuff going. 
So let's see here. For a vacuum tube, yeah, like I was saying, we're starting to run into where we need so many different ores. I think what I'm going to do is between episodes, I'm going to look for different ores, and I'm going to start digging them out and filling up crates worth. No, Piggles worth is going to fill up crates worth. <laughs> <laughs> like we did right here. What I think I might do is record just like little quick clips showing me finding the ore and getting the advancement. If I'm not mistaken, let's check the advancement page again. Okay, we found the Cinnabar ore, but we didn't get that advancement because we didn't have this unlocked. But now that we do, once I find the ore, we should get it. So I've got fine, four ores I have to find. Railways. Craft and use rails to travel long long distances quickly? Wait, does that mean that rails work faster now? This might be our method for getting over to the nether portal. Let's see. Distractions and other distractions. Um, rail? Ooh, what's all this? Mechanical booster rail? Wooden rail. Regular rails. A railer? Press shift for more info. I gotta know what that does. Won't occupy any sides. Will however conflict with a large railer. Won't occupy any sides. I don't even know what that means. Steve Steve's carts. Steve cart Steve's carts too? Or Steve's carts also? Is there a book for that? At Steve's. Steve S. Steve's. Entity detector. It's a pig face. <laughs> Does that thing mean that it, it knows when I'm getting near? Maybe, ooh, note sequencer? A boombox? Is there a book in here? I'm not seeing a book. Ooh, I recognize that. Didn't we build one of those? So maybe that goes with Steve Carts. Maybe we can use the motor with a cart. Um, um, um What? Oh, no. Uh-uh. No, sir. <laughs> Not happening. What are you? Nether wart crop. Cake server. Well, Zloy would love that. Um, I'm not seeing any documentation on this. What are you? Galgador. Okay. Yikes. So, apparently, we've unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. We'll have to figure out what the documentation for that is. It's quite possible that as we start to unlock these things, craft a wooden hole to make a... Yeah, see, okay, it's going to run us through a cart assembler is the first thing we need. Okay, awesome. So we're going to have flying machines and carts. That is so cool. And we're not allowed to build any of this because we don't have any of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to have to do some ore prospecting and see what I can find. Like I said, I'll probably do like a quick little montage clip of finding different ores. As you're right. As you're right. As you're right. As you're right. If you answer so correctly, then uh, uh, you get points as you're right. <laughs> but as you're wrong, you lose points. Yeah, that's how it works. You stink and stick. You just stay right there. So I am going to do a little bit of off-camera work to figure out where all these ores are so that we can go ahead and start collecting them and move forward so we're not locked down. Yeah, that's the way that works. But if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more of these as I release them, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when everything is notifiable of the notary, notarized, n n notoriously something. I'm running out of words. <laughs> Wow. You know it's been a long day when Piggy runs out of something to say. You gotta be kidding me. That's been there the whole time? Could a mob have dropped through that? Oh no, I saved. I saved to fight it. Wow. I had no idea, idea I left that wide open. Way to go, Piggy. Way to go. But yeah, I'm gonna get prepped and ready for next episode, and that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode.